before this happened. This happened. Campus lawns were outlined and spray painted. Tents were unfolded and tables rolled into place. It was all part of the ramp up to the annual graduation parties at St. Mary's College. Really early in the morning everyone's here starting to uh, make sure everything looks awesome and right now we're just kind of waiting for everybody to come out and as soon as graduation ends people will just flood down to this lawn and it'll be an awesome party for everyone. For more than 30 years after every commencement graduates and their families come together in a tradition that is distinctively St. Mary. It's a day that is purely about having a good time. It's a, a day that is purely about enjoying the fruits of labors rather than um, the, 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 the four years grind that the students have been through up till today. And for generations of Gales, it's a time to celebrate achievement. I have five siblings that graduated here as well. Um, my dad in 53 and now Lindsay in 2011 starting the third generation and we've always partied on the grass at St. Mary's for graduation. And what's an outdoor party without something cold to drink? And of course, lots of food. We got gumbo, we got ribs, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, baked beans, coleslaw, we got jambalaya, and we ready to kick it down. And as the day goes on, the crossroads of all the graduation parties is the chapel lawn. It's the place to be seen and to see. And it's where many families mark a new beginning. Congratulations once again to the class of 2011.